Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering questions and answers as we always do in this kind of videos. Starting off with the first most asked question to me is the ranking system. Ranking system, how to advance in it, how to gain more points and how to possibly climb on the leaderboard. You must have wondered when you look at the leaderboard, for example, this is European second server. If you go to the top 100 of the players, you have seen for years, has been a Tiger Sun player, it was top one for years, but now as you see players are accumulating those points super fast and we have tons and tons of tons and tons of new players here and there we go, there's Tiger Sun on only 14 ranking. So how do they do that and how it's accomplished? It's very very simple. Now you might not be able to catch up with the top ones, but you can at least enter top 100 probably if you want this, if that's important to you. Why am I saying this? Just because ranking system in the game doesn't give you anything. You don't get any rewards, anything. You just get nothing from it. And it's also not accurate because this new ranking system was implemented in about a year ago, a little less. And uh, since it was implemented, players that play for three years, not all of their data was collected. It's pretty obvious just because the numbers that are shown for completions are very, very low. We believe that it was like maybe years of progression, and so it's not accurate. So some of the oldest players in the game might be very low in the ranking just because of that. And now let's move on to the explanation. We will open somebody here. Uh, you can open somebody from your alliance the same way. Just click on it and you will see this player profile button. I don't know, in the browser version, it's bugged. It shows base player profile panel, la la la, but it should just say player profile, that's it. So just click on the smiley face and you get an info on that player. And that player info show you everything you need to know how to accumulate your ranking. Now, first of all, of course, it shows total. Then we have traded goods. So if you go to trade and we will go to trade right now, you will see that here when you sell something and when you buy something like I will do just now, for example, I need this. We will buy things and sell things. You gain points of trade, which also contributes to your ranking. Now, if we go here, for example, to the other player, we see the traded goods. It all accumulates here and give you some points to the ranking, to your total. Now, RP spend are the least important now, one of the least important, because they're divided by many, many numbers and you get a little, little points to your total progress, but still you gain something. This was made just because many players have like 70 and more thousand RP spent and if that would be calculated as this is those players would be obviously like rank one and competing and now one of the most important things here is the activity points gained and I'm explaining you why. Now if we go for example in my monthly season pass you will see that I have completed it. it's level 25 it's maximum I have no rewards to get from it and etc. The point is when you finish it most of the players just don't do these quests like why should I do it if I complete it. If you want to climb up in ranking you should do these quests every day just because these activity points that you get here they contribute to your total ranking. So the more quests you make throughout the months, the higher you're gonna go in the ranking. Because activity points gain four quests, even if you completed this monthly path, they still contribute to your ranking. This was a small hint I wanted to tell you how to advance because many people abandon this. But if you want ranking, if that's important to you for whatever reason, just keep in mind that you have to do these quests every day just to get yourself on top if you want to. And now we we will move on to players statistics and we here have even progress. Now, even progress is calculated for the points you spend in the event when you progress. For example here when you go like one, two, three times you gain those points that contribute to your ranking. Next is of course negotiations one and battles one. So it doesn't matter if you do alliance treasure hunt or any other battle by negotiation and battle, it does not matter because they all contribute to your total ranking ranking and in that total ranking they count the same way. So just the more you do, the more you gain here. Also, this comes in handy with the monthly pass. Like I said, even if you finished it, just do those battles or do those negotiations because you will get activity points, which will contribute to your ranking. And also you will get negotiations or battles, depending on your choice, count towards your ranking. And of course, the last but not least, Wanderops opened. They give a lot to your ranking, but 
you know that's gears and you need something like Colossus of Rodas to maximize your gears because this one gives you more gears from the contribution to other people wonders and also you'll be helpful to your alliance by having extra compasses daily and you will be able to donate them to your alliance members allies treasure hunts contributions you can unlock more levels now the next question is evolution tokens let's talk about a job kits or AK evolution tokens these little fellas here they increase the age of the selected evolving building by one updating its output it can't be increased higher than your currently research era so evolving buildings is the buildings that your event gives you whenever event starts for example Celtic Brock uh, Crypt of the Count and etc winter market and even pirate fortress from the Alan treasure hunt now what you need to know is that when you click on it it will show you the buildings that you can put it on and then the age of that building goes up and I will explain it. For example, you're somewhere in Minon era, you unlock the Lion's Treasure Hunt and you gained this Pirate Fortress, it will be at Minon era. If you want to make it further as you advance in the eras, if you want to make it higher in age, that means you would use a job kit aka evolution tokens on this building to make it in the very end at this day today, Maximum Era, Kingdom of Sicily. What you need to know is that spending a job kit on this building is very important, especially on the Pirate Fortress, because then you get more culture boost, more culture boost uh, through this building. Uh, for example, if this building would now be at the Stone Age, I would get like 10 times lower. But now, since I upgraded it till my maximum era, I have 1260 of culture boost to surrounding buildings, which is absolutely amazing. This is one of the most important things. Also, of course, you can find buildings like, for example, Shriner for Reflection, which give you a lot of goods, your era goods and the previous era goods. And if you update this one till your age, then these goods will upgrade era as well. For example, at first you built it in Stone Age and you will get something like wool and stuff, but when you upgrade it to Kingdom of Sicily, there you have it, all the Kingdom of Sicily relevant goods and previous era, which was Iberian era goods, which makes this actually fun. So try to put all of your buildings to make them at the relevant era you're using them or if you have some specific reason not to upgrade them okay leave it there but i would say that it's highly important to upgrade all of your buildings to the era you are in to acquire a job kits aka evolution tokens all you need to do is in the event you can get them via event reward system or you can get it via daily special when you roll for something and it's a daily special you have a high chance of getting it and the second option on how you can get those is you can just go to the season pass where you can have it once a month there but it will be for the gold pass ticket it will not be available unfortunately to the silver ticket now about also frequently asked question is how to get these event specials exclusive skins the only one i have is baobab tree is just because my madrasa it has a chance here in the RP chest to produce them for me. Baobab increases my production by 50%. I keep them here until the new age releases and then I will use them because these things allow to you to accumulate new goods very fast and make your life in the new year a lot easier. One thing I need to tell you, the Baobab tree still can be accessible just because you can still build Madrasa. Madrasa is available every time that event comes on, but the other three are not. And as you see, I did not unlock them even because because they were only introduced once in the year of that event and even when we had a duplicate event next year we did not have these as an option and they provided us with the currency for the event and that's it so there is no way to get them and the only one you can get from these is Baobab tree so i hope that changes in the future because i would like to complete my collection but right now at the moment this is impossible to gain other three you can only have Baobab three through madrasa we will have a little bit of spoilers now if you don't want to hear this then please skip to the outro of this video now spoilers it's about the new era new era which is about to be released very 
very very soon uh, we can't say exact date I don't know it but I believe it's gonna be very very soon it will be called high middle ages so we believe that in one month or so it's gonna be released maybe even lower than one month remember Kingdom of Sicily was released on 15th of March so maybe that's our best bet but still we already know a name it's already been speculated it's already been leaked so we know the name we know the color but we just don't know much about it but so you know it's gonna be called high middle ages and on this note i thank you all for watching this was a short video i hope you find it informative i wish you all the best leave a like comment and subscribe for more i'll see you on my next videos as always thank you very much for your kind words i really really appreciate it until we meet again